Hi, I'm Nick from GZB Studios and welcome to our first tutorial. I'm making this tutorial because one of our subscribers asked us how to animate effects in Adobe After Effects. So this tutorial will be about Adobe After Effects. Um, I'm going to show you this by animating a flare because it's used in intros and outros a lot and we make them so I think that's a good choice but the method is exactly the same for every single effect you have in Adobe After Effects so to start out we're going to open up Adobe After Effects click composition new composition and I'm making mine 1280 by 720 because the file size intends to be pretty big when you render it out with Adobe After Effects so I re-render it with Sony Vegas to make it HD and compress the file size. Making mine 30 seconds long, duration 30 seconds, and press OK. Now, I'm going to start by adding some text to my composition. So, just select the text at the top of your screen, click in your composition, and type something. I'm going to type our channel name. There we go. Now, to stop typing, just select the little selection tool at the top of your screen the little arrow on your left side and then you can move your text around so just place it in the middle okay now to add the flare you always want to start with a new black solid layer if you want to add an effect in Adobe After Effects so to do this I'm going to go to layer new solid gonna make it black make it calm size and press OK as you can see the black is just covering up our text and that's not what we want so we're going to change the mode here the mode to screen as you can see now our text is not covered up anymore and what it does is it just makes all everything that's black transparent so we will only see the flare and not the, the, the black layer so, if you cannot see the mode option right here, you should click the little button at the bottom of your screen that says toggle switches slash modes. Just click it a couple of times until you see the mode option appear. Now, to add the flare to this new black solid layer, we're going to effect, generate, lens flare. It's just a basic flare. Uh, you can download other flares from various websites, but I'm just going to show you this by using a basic flare. Um, now you can use them. You can you can move the flare. Sorry, by just clicking in the middle of your flare on the red cross, and you can move it around. And I'm I want it to start out in the left side of my screen, fade in, go under my text, fade out, and go outside the screen. So we're going to animate two factors here one is the flare position and the other is the flare opacity so I'm going to start out by placing my flare on my left side of my screen then open up everything by clicking the little arrow right here open up everything there we go and we're going to animate the opacity and the flare center the flare center is basically just the flare position. Um, so we're going to place our 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 ruler here on zero seconds and click the little stopwatch next to opacity. So I want it to start out on zero opacity. So on a keyframe on zero seconds, I want it to be zero opacity. There. Oh. There. Okay, on two seconds, I want it to be 100 opacity, back to full. On four seconds, I want it to remain 100. So I'm just going to click the Add Keyframe button, Add or Remove Keyframe at current time, click it, and it will add a keyframe. Then on six seconds, I want it to go to zero again, so it fades out. Now we're going to animate the flare position to exactly exactly the same way as we did with the opacity. So we're going to place our ruler at zero again, go to flare center, click the little stopwatch, and on zero seconds I just want it to be outside my screen. 
on two seconds. Just a second. Yeah, I want it to be right here on four seconds. I want it to be at the other side of the screen, about the same position. And on six seconds, I want it to be outside my screen again. So, we're going to close this and place our ruler at zero again and just press play and as you can see the flare does exactly what I asked it to do go under my text and then fade out and that's how you animate effects in Adobe After Effects you can use this with any effect you want and it's very simple Adobe After Effects is a pretty hard program but once you get used to it it's all pretty simple and you can use it for a lot of things so thanks for watching this tutorial I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helped you and stay tuned because more will come